All right, so in this time of crisis, I've decided to try to make a video to lighten the mood a little bit. So uh, I'm not, not sure if you're aware, but we currently have a toilet paper shortage in America. And I don't know about other countries, but in America, I cannot find a roll of toilet paper anywhere on the shelf. So I decided, because I'm an engineer who got told to stay at home, um, yeah, I'm an engineer that has uh, access to Excel, like most of you, and uh, decided that this needed to be calculated. How much toilet paper do you actually need? Now, uh, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous, but um, it was fun. I did some research, so let's go through this and see how much toilet paper we actually need. So, first off, number of days of social distancing you are expecting. I just put in 14 to start because we're talking about two weeks. Most companies gave their employees about two weeks. You could say three weeks. We'll adjust that in a second. So two weeks, 14 days. Uh, yes, I had to go research. How many number ones do we do in a day? Uh, number one referring to P, when you're urinating. So when you are hydrated, this is like all these numbers because, you know, typically in engineering, you kind of want to go worst case scenario, best case scenario. And anyway, I went worst case scenario because that's interesting. So all the people that want to pick this apart, go ahead. I, it's whatever. I did some basic research uh, to get these numbers and they're not going to be perfect because uh, there's a lot of different toilet papers out there. There's one ply, two ply, three ply. There's even four ply I found out that comes in a special like can that, yeah, I guess it's for rich people. I don't know. I only have two ply, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you can also get different lengths, you know, then you start saying one roll equals six rolls, but the one roll is the, the super heavy duty or long lasting or the special roll. And then that's as compared to what one old school roll from some time period where they only had 71 sheets per roll. I don't know. So it's really difficult to do calculations on toilet paper, I found out. But here's what I did. So yeah, 10 times a day if you are super well hydrated. Most times people say, uh, well, you can see here, I was all my sources down here. They said uh, six to eight times a day or 10 if you drink tons of water. So worst case scenario, you're peeing all the time. Uh, number two is a day. Yeah, mm, two, two at the worst. Uh, so I did some research. 50% of Americans go once a day, 28% go twice a day, and uh, 5.6 go only once or twice in a week. That's kind of ridiculous. How can you only poop four times in a month? No. Yep, four times in a month. That seems ridiculous. But if that's you, great. You're not going to have to worry about this toilet paper shortage because you're probably good forever. So, uh, yeah, total of toilet usages in a day is going to be 12. So this next set of data right here is going to be referred to under the one ply. Uh, the Everything is going to be converted back to one ply because one ply is technically what I would consider to be the worst case scenario if you're using one ply. Uh, so, um, yeah, pieces per use. That's referring to each little square that you tear off so uh national average apparently is 8.6 but uh for i assume two ply they didn't give specifics but i figured most americans would be using two ply not one ply so i did a conversion factor basically um yeah it's 0.65 conversion so uh you're going to use 13.2 pieces per use so you just multiply uses per day by pieces per use and that gives you a total of 158 almost 159 pieces of toilet paper used per day and that's of one ply now the cool thing about one ply is it comes in ginormous rolls and i i don't know if they're really that much bigger because it's like diameter wise because it's you know one ply so since it's thinner that you can put a thousand pieces on a roll on average and that was pulled from uh, scott brand i guess they have a thousand pieces per roll so you uh, divide that out and that gives you the number of rolls you need per person per day. And so based off of the 14 day social distancing, you multiply that by number of rolls a day, that gives you a grand total of 2.2 rolls of one ply for that whole time period that you need. That's it, two rolls. 
Now, say, well, nobody uses two, uh, one ply because that's ridiculous. So let's do the math with two ply. I have a two ply calculator right here. So pieces per use that 8.6, they said anywhere between eight to nine uh, pieces per use is the best practice. And uh, on a actually, maybe not best practice, actually, they were see saying that on average Americans use that, but best practice would be like three to six pieces. Anyway, we're just ruining the forests and everything, right? It's just paper. Um, anyway, so 8.6 was a number, another number I found which seemed a little bit more precise because it's got a decimal point, so what the heck, I'll throw that in there. 8.6, which comes out to, uh, you know, multiply by 12, and that gives you 103.2 pieces per day. And you can see here the, the ratio of, you know, one ply to two ply. So actually, uh, one ply is typically a 13 thickness. And then in my research, I found that a two ply is two pieces of 10 thickness papers put together, which gives you a total of 20 thickness. So a two ply is not, based off of my research, the double a one ply. So that's why that ratio is in there. Uh, basically, uh, 65.65 is that ratio there that you need of uh, one ply to two ply, which is basically just 13 divided by 20. So if that's wrong, uh, yeah, whatever. This is, this is in the name of science. This is very scientifically technical. So, <laughs> so here you go. Uh, Based off my research, I found some Charmin two-ply rolls uh, that had 426 uh, pieces on it per roll. Now I checked my bathroom and I've got like the special long heavy duty. I don't even know what to call it. It's still two-ply, so I don't really know if it's heavy duty, but like long lasting, I don't know. Anyway, but that one had 286, so I guess that would be worst case scenario. And you could punch that in like this into the fancy calculator and that would say that you need 0.36 rolls a day which would give you a total of for the 14 days of social distancing that we were basically told to undergo you would need a total of five rolls per person in your household so that being said we'll switch this back because 426 seems about right most other places were saying you know two two ply should be about 500 pieces Maybe mine was just special case, and that's why mine's lasting so long uh, with the only 286 pieces. But uh, so let's jump over here, and I've seen this picture uh, online. Um, I don't know. I guess I've I've sourced it here, Twitter at Sonia Crest Pack. Um, anyway, so this person's got. I decided to do the math, do the math to see how long they will last and not have to go out for toilet paper in the future so if this is just one person this person has enough two ply i'm just going to assume this is two ply it looks like cottonelle and i'm going to guess that if you're buying that much you're not going to be buying like three or four ply and also it, i don't think cottonelle is one ply so i'm just going to guess two ply because that's what we most most of us buy uh number of packs is going to be seven if you count them rolls per pack you can see four by two and then you can see by three so that gives you 24 per pack which gives you, you can see one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven packs of that. Um, so that gives you a grand total of 120, 168 rolls in this cart that this, this person's buying, which gives you a grand total of 693 days of toilet paper for this person. Now you can be saying, well, what if they have some family? Well, for the required number of days of social distancing, which is 14, they actually have enough toilet paper for 50 people. So hopefully they have a really big family, I guess. I don't know. But then you could come back and say, well, you know, worst case scenario, hopefully, you know, we'll say 60 days, 60 days. So uh, if it's just you in the house and you want that nice two ply, go out there and get yourself a, I don't know, do they sell 15 packs, 16 packs? Go get yourself something just a little bit above that and you'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, this person still, even with that two months of social distancing, they, they could have a family of 12 and not have to come out to buy toilet paper for 60 days. It's a long time. So anyway, uh, I hope this video was as funny to you as it was to me while I was making it. Uh, yeah, math may be right or wrong. Research is really strange on toilet paper. 
And so, uh, yeah, feel free to fact check it. I've got all the sources uh, posted up here. Maybe I should link them if you really want to look at it or not. I'll put them in the video description below. So you can do some research of your own if you really want to uh, check my numbers. So anyway, good luck finding toilet paper. I've got 13 rolls left, and I'm planning on that lasting me, hopefully, all the way through summer. So, yeah, stay healthy, guys.